<laughs> hey birch moon farm gang here we are inside the uh well chicken run chicken yard or whatever you want to call it and uh our plan for the next little while is to um obviously we have some cleaning up this here is actually what we call a chicken gazebo and the winter kind of beat it up so one of the things we'll be doing probably first is uh bringing this thing back to life and then uh, some general cleanup over here. We've got some fencing that we used earlier for some uh, separating the flock a little bit, but now um, we're doing different things. So it's unnecessary. And it's also gonna be where we lay out uh, the new chicken coop, which um, will be two or three or four videos coming up, but we're uh, pretty much once we can set the stage, we're poised to really start building our second chicken coop, which will be a fun project. Anyways, uh, yep, sit back and enjoy watching us do some work. Right? <laughs> of me is going to be our our second chicken coop for those of you out there if there are husbands out there with uh, wives that are just now getting into chickens um, I got good news and bad news the good news is when you build your first chicken or the bad news is when you're gonna have to build the chicken coop and you're going to have to figure out how to do it and how to make it functional. The good news is, during the course after that first chicken coop is built and you increase your flock, you're going to learn the changes that you wish you had made on your chicken coop to make cleaning easier, getting eggs easier, all of that. Now the good news, like I said, is if your wife is currently getting into chickens, there's a thing out there called chicken math. So inevitably, if you guys are thinking now, well, it's time for me to build a coop, down the road, you'll be building a second coop for more chickens. And that second coop, in theory, will come out a whole, a whole lot more functional than the first one. This is our foundation of, um, of our second chicken coop. And um, what I've done, I've already done all the groundwork because that's pretty tedious. I've leveled things up and I've squared them off. Uh, a trick that the carpenters use and electricians do with conduit is once you have a nice level surface just leave your level kicking around hanging out that way anybody that walks by can look and be like wow very level so I got that going <laughs> on so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna lay out the uh, the joists I got them all pre-marked. I'll go ahead and uh, zip a couple of these together so you can see that part of the process. And um, yeah, we'll just string out the floor. I've got the the floor or the deck all framed in uh, we're seen inches on center and a lot of one thing that we're kind of learning along the way for sure really since we've been here building things is a little bit of planning goes a long way so I've got this laid out now where a full sheet of half inch pressure treated plywood which measures four by eight should fit exactly on the deck and then we'll uh, we'll build our walls from there our next step see where we are um 
we're in Marlboro, Vermont, and for those of you that aren't familiar with Vermont, we're kind of in the southern central part of the state. And we're up, um, we're up, let's say, in the foothills of the Green Mountains. So we are at some elevation here, and if you look around, we're in the middle of the woods. And there's a lot of critters here, and a lot of critters really like to eat chickens and to eat chicken eggs. Um, a couple of the critters are primarily concerned about with the step that I'm going to be explaining to you next is um, weasels. We've got um, long tail weasels, which are about this big. We have fisher cats, which is a whole nother conversation. But there's a weasel out there called an ermine, and it's really tiny. Like, I think um, maybe a chipmunk size. And um, there, a weasel is a pure carnivore, and they eat meat and only me and so we need to protect our chickens not only from the elements but from the things that want to eat them so my next step with the floor before the plywood even goes down uh, we've got this to lay on the floor and to protect around the whole base of it this is quarter inch hardware cloth and what that means is the gaps and the squares of the it's like a fence but the gaps are only a quarter inch square and it's all solid steel so the idea of laying down a layer of the quarter inch hardware cloth over the floor before I put the subfloor on is to protect from anything that might try to burrow up from underneath to get our chickens. So really our design, even with our first chicken coop, our design from the beginning um, incorporates the safety of the flock as best as we can. And we've got bears here, which is why we've got the electric fence. Um, just a lot of critters out here from the air and from the ground that want to want to eat our chickens. So we're, we protect them from the beginning. So the next thing I'll be doing is laying out the hardware cloth on the deck so that we're ready, um, we're ready for the plywood. We're actually waiting on the hardware store to uh, drop off our plywood and a couple other things for other projects. So. Funny, Rebecca and I obviously watch the videos once or twice once they get posted and enjoy them. And I, I don't realize until we're listening to the video that you guys are hearing chickens almost all the time. Um, we're not oblivious to it, but I guess you get used to it. And I don't it's know if you snowing. can see this or not, but it's snowing. It's snowing. On April whatever it is. I've gone ahead and pre-cut all the pieces that I need for what we're calling, this will be the back wall on this side here. Uh, we'll have a four foot height on the back wall. The front wall will be roughly six, just over six feet, which will give us a roof pitch that'll match um, the other outbuildings that we have, the, uh, the shed and the chicken coop. So like I said, I've uh, pre-cut everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um and fasten the wall together and then i'll lift it up we'll secure it to the base and for today i don't think i think for today this back wall will be as far as i get on the coop um, so i'll put a couple of stabilizer pieces they're just temporary pieces of wood to keep the uh, keep everything true so i'll just go ahead and start fastening this all together enough now for level it'll keep it the, the brace will keep this wall from moving while I'm not working on it 
I'm just going to go ahead and um, tack down the rest of the wall, secure it, and then uh, I'll be picking up and kind of calling it a day. But for now, be well, take care. Thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. Please subscribe, like, and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Be safe out there and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.